Hey, we're back. Um, so check this out. When you pause the game, it doesn't really pause it. It just kind of sticks the little thing in front of it. Eh. Oh, jeez. I was just editing shit, so, uh... Had my sound way up. If you heard that, excuse me. Use it to push attack enemies when surrounded. This is so dark. Am I supposed to be able to see the hand? That's me. A hammer. <laughs> God. Eh. I've always thought that if I ever murdered a guy, calling the police would be a great first thing to do. Because then my story gets out first. Maybe it's because I'm in this concrete building. Alright. The recording looks okay. Oh yeah, look, I've got a little flashlight from my phone. See, I decided to set it to easy because... As, uh, as I mentioned, the only thing that the difficulties change is enemy health bars. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Picked up a syringe. So I like that. They put a little thing there, because, like, you're probably going to take fall damage, so... Sneak attack! A canny opponent. Yeah, the way that the phone is implemented is actually pretty neat. Because it allows it to be a, uh, a lantern. As well as a flashlight. I always feel like my protagonist is cooler than he is. Rotating saves is for people who have commitment issues. All right. Oh, that's interesting. You can doge. So, this company was responsible for another game also called... No, they were responsible for another game. Said game is called Afraid of Monsters. It's another Half-Life 1 mod, and in it the protagonist is high all the time. I might play it, but it would likely be next year since there's only so many spooks I can take. It's morphine, strong stuff, so it better be careful. So you can see big, obvious uh, self-harm scars on Simon's arm there, implying that he's a former or current cutter. Is it impolite to say someone's a cutter? Help me. Please help, they're coming. I'm inside the apartments. Hurry. Maybe it's like the N-word. But for emos? You know, like how boomer is the N-word, but for old people, clearly. Which I guess means that I can say cutter, but not boomer. Hit. Hit. You know, this is a this is a very grim uh, topic for conversation. 
And I guess that this is the month, game, and, uh, maybe not ow place for it, but, you know. I gotta make myself some coffee. It. I could do with some fucking coffee. Oh, there's a ladder here. The ladder animation is good, considering that the ladder animation in Gold Source, well, in Half-Life 1, I guess, is uh, just someone sliding up the ladder vertically. Which also allows Gordon Freeman to go up a ladder with just his feet, because he's very obviously using his hands to reload a shotgun. Backwards, for that matter. He looks so dopey, you know? Fourth floor. Big couch here. Can't call the elevator. It must be stuck somewhere. My secret note one. Three little. What the hell does this say? Three. Okay. Three little kitties play in the park. So the first kitties go home before it gets dark. First two went on their merry way home. Third stay playing all alone. Come here, little child. Come to me. Bushes will serve softly. They say curiosity killed the cat. Oh, yeah, I think, um... Hey, if you haven't tapped out oh yet, I'm pretty sure that this game also contains uh, child endangerment, um, child molestation, child murder. I don't feel like I need to save just yet. Look at this evil child. I've killed him. Oh, he's wearing a garbage bag, too. That's gruesome. Little, uh, little Laura Palmer there. I'm not gonna go out there yet, because that seems like a... God, it's been a while since I played this game. Yep. That seems like a big progress. Door won't budge. Okay. It's actually very well done. It's a very oppressive um, apartment building. My gold standards for horror are Resident Evil 2, both versions, the remake and the original. Um, Silent Hill 3. Silent Hill 2. Shoes. I think that's all. There's probably another um, game that I'm forgetting. But very early on in Silent Hill... Ooh, spooky. It's me. <laughs> oh, hello. Really need a gun. Early on in Silent Hill 2, you actually go through a... It's either a hotel or an apartment building, and you go through a motel in Silent Hill 3, I think. Ooh. Wait. I think that's just a regular Garnier Fructis bottle. Had shoulder. <laughs> Had shoulders. Those little kitties are so cute. They look so lovely. I just want to touch them, but those parents come. I have to kill them. Subtle. Big old VCR. Wait, hold on. Is that a is that a combination VCR and DVD player? Hell yeah. Uh-huh. Might be axe or just knife. Rotted too quick. S 9th April. Slowest death yet in the 3rd of June. Curious about this art. Really old. Can't remember. 3rd November. <laughs> Boo. 
Boo, it's scary. Oh, that's actually pretty good. The way that the footsteps come in. Tasted bad. Collection 2. January 4th. Collection 1. 20th of September. Collection 4. Collection 11. More blood. Come and play. And then that's everything. Okay, cool. You got apartment key. Are you? <laughs> what the fuck? What were they doing? Were they just dancing? That's so silly. Oh my god. Oh, that's great. Okay. I always uh, hate these opening... Scarface. Nice. These opening parts of a survival horror game. Because you're just kind of slumming around without the stuff that you get in a survival horror game. Like, something that I like about the first three Silent Hill games is that the protagonists all have three specific tools. Oh, that's a sign. The game's telling me to get coffee. They all have three tools. <laughs> That was really fucking funny. Oh, oh, he's gone. It is gold source, remember. Can't expect too much. God, the feeling of putting a little cell phone light in a bathroom is really scary. I have a minor fear of power outages. There's something in the ceiling. Gun. Body Christ smells bad. It's holding gun. Better take it with you. Anyway, um, in Silent Hill you have... Wow. Flashlight, radio, and pistol. Okay, yeah. So, this is annoying. Listen to this. Hear the difference? You click the middle mouse to zoom in, and you right-click to swing. It's probably the only game I can think of that does that. Actually, wait, can I...? There we go. Okay, so I've just been doing it wrong. Okay. That's not bad. I like the implication that Simon's a lefty. As someone who is a lefty. Alright, fourth floor. Should have thought. Alright, a boom. All right, guess we're not going that way. Door is jammed. Door will budge. This is how I got in here. Just a little accidental backtrack. Can't call it, must be stuck. So I think dual wielding like this makes it so you cannot reload a gun. Which would only make sense, since it's a two-hand job. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a job that requires two hands. Um, so you have to get good at quickly unequipping and re-equipping shit. Yeah, this does remind me of uh, Silent Hill 2 a lot. Already read this. Okay, this is the apartment where the light went out. 
God, the light went out and just fucked up my sense of direction. Seems that everyone owns the same brand of black converse. Shit. Ooh, who's this fancy? Oh, right. Duh. God. I'm getting really flipped, turned upside down. Oh my god, I feel so stupid. Wait, wait. Oh, fuck, I am stupid. So. New enemy. A new theme as well. Remember when I was like, be on the watch out for these things, you know? Everyone, uh, tune your ears to child endangerment, shooting kids. Oh, big crying. Could there be a child in danger? The reason I'm not reloading is because you actually lose the bullets in your gun upon reloading. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm making decent pace now. Black Converse. Mm hmm. Okay. Dead children, dead children. Miscellaneous dead children. I feel more confident in my decision to set it to easy. Because honestly, I get nothing out of playing this game on a really hard difficulty. I'm not going to like enjoy it more. Because I'm really here for the story. I guess I'll save. Oh shit, I just realized everyone can see when I'm recording this. Uh. Don't you love it when games do that? Okay. I feel pretty confident, so let's start going up. I'm sick, you might be able to hear it in my voice, but if not, then I'm good at hiding it. This is a good sign. Don't enter. I thought I saw a face there, but I think it was just this. Now, as I need to kill some kitties, I stuck the elevator in the hall so only personnel can access my secret code. No kitty will figure that out, so I guess I'll take the stairs. Okay. It's chained up. I wonder what happened here. Boo. Spooky kid. I guess that's nothing. Having never shot a child, I have no idea of how many bullets it actually takes to kill one. I think I've been here before. Yes, I have. All right. Let's continue on to the fourth floor. I hope they didn't need me quickly. Because, gotta say, I've kind of dropped the ball there. The door what Yeah, nothing says open for business like every entrance boarded shut.
so good. You know, what if the real reason that, uh... Simon holds the phone in his right hand no matter what? Is because, um... They just didn't want to make a model. Oh, shit. <laughs> you ever mean to turn on your flashlight and accidentally fire your handgun? I need to go to the fourth floor. Okay. I've got that. I'm on a level. Yeah, I imagine if... What? What was that? I just got like hung up on a corner there. Oh, there's a keypad next to the elevator. Well, then why don't we just... You know, yeah, I guess this is just the thing about uh, amateur game development. But like, yeah, it just kind of... Oh? What's that? Is that a very small washing machine? I'm just very not sure about the direction here. You know what, maybe I've got to go down. Go down to get up. See, what is that? Am I fucking stubbing my toe here? I am! You can stub your toe in this game. Why? I mean, actually, you know what? For any other game, I would be like, that's double bullshit, but for a survival horror game, that makes perfect sense. Because then it's spooky, you know? That's funny, this, this is wheelchair accessible. Okay. So I don't remember if I've been down here yet. Was it because I have a very bad memory and bad attention? I mean, I'm supposed to have a good memory, but... Don't want budge. Okay, got that. Oops. So this door's locked. Which I guess means I need the key. Because otherwise it just wouldn't budge. Oh god, I'm so lost. I hope everyone was excited for getting an LP that feels like you're in 2012 just as much as uh, looks like it. Should I even put an intro out for these games? I mean, I guess you would see it already if I had. But should it just be like cold, hard cut to gameplay and no editing? I 
I really wonder what the deal with that is. I think I've been on three before. Yes, I have. God. You know what? I'm going in circles. Why don't I cut the episode here? Yeah, I guess I'll just look up a fucking walkthrough. Uh, thanks for coming by. I've been Alfred. Um, it's been Cry of Fear. Free on Steam. Support the developers. Uh, thanks for coming by. Bye. <laughs>